Do you guys remember our hyacinth bulb from last week? And we looked at it before it had opened up its buds. And we measured it using some different objects to see how tall it was. And I asked you to predict what color you think the blooms will be. Hyacinths are usually purple or pink or white. So before I show you what color it is, take a quick guess to see if you are correct. <gasps> Look at that! It ended up being a pink hyacinth. So what we're going to do today is we're going to measure our hyacinth again because I will tell you it has grown since last week. We're going to use some of the same materials we used before. We are going to use pencils, white cubes, and quarters. Let's get ready to measure. Look how much it's changed. All of the buds have opened up and the flowers are blooming and I wish you could smell them because they smell amazing. So last time we measured our hyacinth using pencils, little white cubes, and keys. We're gonna use the same materials again to see if our hyacinth has grown any taller. Pre-K, do you remember the last time we measured our hyacinth? It was two pencils long. Let's see how much it's grown. One pencil, two pencils, up. Oh. I scoot it over so you can see a little bit more. Do you think we need a little bit more of a pencil? We can even scooch this down a little bit because look how much longer the roots are. Wow. So two pencils and we don't need a whole pencil. Two pencils and what would you say? Half a pencil? A third of a pencil? Two pencils and a little bit. Next up, the white cube. All right, last time we needed 20 cubes. Do you think we're gonna need more than 20 this time? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, let me scooch them up, they're sliding down. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's how tall our hyacinth was last time we measured it. How many more cubes do you think we will need? Take a guess. Well, we need one more, two more, three more, 10 more. Let's find out. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, Five, our hyacinth has grown five cubes since the last time we measured. But look down here at the roots. There's a little bit of space. So 25, 20, six. It's actually grown six cubes since we last measured it. So last time we measured, our hyacinth was 15 quarters long, which I already have set up. One, two, three, four, Five, count with me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How many more do you think we will need to get to the top? Fifteen. Let's add one more. Let's see if that works. That makes sixteen. Is that enough? Nope. Let's add one more. Seventeen. Is that enough? Nope, I think we need one more. 18, our hyacinth is now 18 quarters long. It has grown three quarters since the last time we looked at it. So here's what I'd like you to do, Pre-K. 
I would like you to find one thing in your house that you're going to measure. So you're going to pick like your rug or your bed or maybe a book or a toy. And then you're going to measure that one object with three different things. Just like we measured our one hyacinth with cubes, pencils, and quarters. You're going to measure that one thing with three different items that you have a lot of. So maybe you want to measure it with toy cars. Julian measured with granola bars last week, which was so cool. Rohan measured with markers. Find something in your house that you can use to measure one object. I can't wait to see what you use to measure and what objects you measure. Have fun pre-K.